Hi everybody, this is the Boxed Otaku, back again with another subscription box. This is still the month of June, so the box we have today is called the Manga Spice Cafe. It is a box specifically for manga and snacks. And so there's no fillers, like little anime items or anything like that. It's specifically manga that is part of the theme of the month, which I think this month is Elegance or something like that. Um, on the website, they always um, show one of the manga that's going to be in it and one of the snacks, so either a drink or whatever. Um, and they always only give you the first book of the series. They don't give you, like, number seven of something. So let's see what's inside. Uh, let's see. Well, the first thing we see is their mascot. I don't know exactly what the name is and looks like you see all the information about the snacks and the books that looks like authors of the books and stuff so it gives you more information about those so I'll be reading that later I like the colors let's see Ooh, a whole bunch of stuff in here let's see what is this first this is Yamasi no Yakasoba Oriental flavor with mayonnaise. So that's interesting. I'll try that. Looks like what our drink today is pearl milk tea. So that looks very fancy can there. Uh, I got pandas. I've had these before. These are very good. You can usually get them at the grocery store. But this is the vanilla flavored cookies. Uh, let's see. We've got a jelly lychee. I think I was saying that name correctly. Jelly lychee flavor. It's a little cute little cup. It looks like we've got two of them. Um, maybe it looks like we got a straw, chopsticks, and a little spoon with a napkin. That's a cute little package. So a nice little lunch box thing. I eat my noodles with that. Uh, tiramisu soft cupcake. That's probably going to be one of my favorites. I love cake anything. Oh, please excuse my dog in the corner there. Uh, let's see. Oh, and here's the manga. Oh, here's one more snack yet. Ooh, Kit Kats. Japanese sake flavor. So that's interesting. Never had sake before. Some people say it's good. I'm not much of an alcohol person, so I can't say. So there's that. We get three of them. That's cool little snacks. We actually have a meal here. Alright, so let's get to the manga. This is really nice. They have it encased in plastic, pretty good wrapped, um, so in case your drink spills or if it rains or something, your books aren't getting wet. So let's get this out of the way. Let's see here. Alright, I was actually hoping for this. The Royal Tutor, when they mentioned Elegant, this is one of the reasons why I didn't get it at the bookstore. Because everybody's talking about this anime right now. So this is a great book for the theme. So I'm very looking forward to reading this. Uh, let's see. This one is Kimono Kamomo, or I don't know, Confessiri. That looks very interesting. Let's see what it says on the back. As a little girl, Komomo Nimiya, Nino Mia, I'm very bad at these names, delighted in picking on Natsu Azumi, the son of her family's pastry chef. Ten years later, when the family fortune is lost and she has no place to live, Komomo encounters Natsu again in her hour of need. Now that Natsu is a master pastry chef in his own right, he will help Komomo, but only if she works for him as his new confessor. Actually, sounds really cute. 
I like the artwork on that. Here's the back. And it's by Viz Media. And then this is the one, Welcome to the Ballroom, is the one that they showed on their website for the month. So this one, uh, the back says, Freckless High School Student Tatara Fujiti, Fujita wants to be good at something, anything. Unfortunately, he's about as average as the slouchy teen can be. The local bullies know this and make it a habit to hit him up for cash. But all that changes when the debonair Hanami Sengoku sends them packing. Sengoku is not the neighborhood watch, though. He's a professional ballroom dancer. And once Tatara Fujita gets pulled into the world of the ballroom, his life will never be the same. So that sounds really cool. I'm looking forward to actually reading all of these. But, so, you get three manga. And all these snacks here, as you can probably see. So that's a lot. And, you know, the booklet or the pamphlet for everything. So, yes, it has information about the books, manga, writers, and artists, it looks like, and their snacks, information. So, and all the ingredients lists of the snacks if you're worried about allergies and whatnot. So, that's actually really nice. It's a nice little pamphlet with the nice artwork. This is actually their fourth subscription box ever. They're very new. So be sure to check them out. I think the price is only about $35. So for $35, you get three manga. So that's about, and snacks. So you're kind of getting the snacks for free by the pricing of the manga. Because let's see, this one's $13. This one is another $13. And this one is $13. So that's, you know, pretty much $30 right there. And then the snacks. So there's no shipping and handling, the 35 is what it is, but they only ship to the United States as of right now. And if they grow, they might be able to send it out, you know, to further areas, but be sure to check them out. I think next month or July's is going to be Fire and Sorcery or Wizardly. I know they have the uh, book out now for their preview, so it looks interesting. It actually looks like a a dungeon cooking manga so I'll be sure to get that for next month they stopped their subscriptions on the 15th so be sure to check them out before then um, and then they actually I actually got the email that they were sending it about two or three days ago and they're coming from Chicago so it wasn't that bad of a wait but you do have to wait to the end of the month it looks like but I am going to enjoy all of these. I'll be probably reading maybe the Welcome to the Ballroom first. But as of right now, I'll see you guys later. I'm waiting for another subscription box by, I think it should become around the 15th of July, which is really late, but they don't stop subscriptions until the end of the month, the last day. So we'll see. But have a good day, everybody. I'll see you next time.